So hi and welcome to today's video. So today I've got a bit of a special one um, and that is basically sort of a mix between a review and a full kind of car clean and kind of transformation I guess. Um, so I'm going to be detailing a Volkswagen up. Um, for those of you, of you that have been around for a while you'll probably recognise this car. Um, but it's back and I'm doing a full wash, decon and protection with some Pyramid Car Care products behind me. So it's going to be sort of a mix between a review. What I'm going to do is show you the full video um, of it actually being clean in the process and then just talk about the products again at the end and kind of sort of evaluate how they performed basically. So full disclaimer, um, these products were sent to me by Pyramid Car Care for free. So thank you very much for that. Um, however, for everyone watching the video, I'm just going to be showing these products in the exact same way that I do any other products um, and giving my full kind of honest opinions of them as well. So. With that in mind, here are the products we've got. So we've got here, citrus pre-wash, we've got a snow foam, shampoo, fallout remover, wax, and also just tucked under here, we've got um, a clay bar as well. Um, so I'm gonna cut to the chase and show you the video and see it all in action. So here we are, um, we've got this little orange Volkswagen up. Um, it's a really cute car, to be honest. As I said, when I last did this car, um, it's not actually driven that often, so you can see that there's not really been that much dirt kind of accumulated here, really. A um, bit of mud splashed up from Christmas tree shopping, um, but that's pretty much it. There's a bit of traffic film um, from driving in the rain, but generally quite good condition here. Um, so we will be giving it a thorough clean and decontamination, as I didn't decontaminate it last time. Um, so I wanted to you know, really kind of give it a proper clean this time. So at the time of filming this video, um, the Garage Therapy 3CS had been on for around three months and I just put one coat of that. However, it's performing really, really strongly um, still. So I had to kind of strip that off properly, which I'll show you what I did later on to do that. Um, but of course, you know, starting off with giving everything a proper pre-wash, um, spraying out all the kind of wheel arches and things like that as well. Um, quite satisfying to get rid of all that dirt. Um, big improvement from just pre-washing it, to be honest. Um, using my fancy little Karcher stubby gun for this, um, which I'm absolutely loving. So what I did here was use the first product, and that is the citrus pre-wash. And I actually diluted this. Um, it does say it's dilutable, um, so I wanted to give that a go, see how it performed. So I used it at one in four, just in this little spray trigger I've got, um, to see how it actually managed against this kind of traffic film. Of course, not a huge amount of traffic film here, but I did just really want to see whether it made a big difference um, or whether it, you needed to use it neat. So then I actually didn't use it neat on the tyres as they were pretty much covered in mud. Um, so what I did was sprayed it all over the tyres and the wheel arches and gave them a big scrub. Um, so basically, you can see here how much the foam of that is turning brown. Um, so it took a few goes at this actually. I didn't show them all because I doubt you'd want to watch five, 10 minutes of me cleaning the wheels. Um, you'd probably get a lot bit bored at this point. Um, so I did basically, I think probably around five passes now. Um, this is the fifth pass that you can see at the moment. Um, and the, the foam was turning white at this point. So I was happy with the level the level that they were at here. Um, I think this product's foamed up really, really nicely, actually. I was pleased at how it performed. I know that the foaminess isn't really an indication of cleaning ability, but it's personally something that I like to see. It feels like it's cleaning at that point. Um, it's all just kind of personal preference and overall experience using the products. I do like it when it foams up. Um, so here I'm just pressure washing the pre-wash away. So this had around five minutes to dwell at this point. So it did a good job at removing kind of the um, the bits of dirt left over, um, but the hydrophobics didn't come back at this point. So there was still a little bit of traffic film left. Um, so I went ahead and actually just cleaned the wheels at this point. So here I used the shampoo and I used just five mil in the bucket so I don't fill the buckets up completely when I do this um, because you know, the wheels don't really take that much. Um, kind of watching the bucket to do that. So what I did was just went ahead and cleaned the wheels, just using that shampoo, um, as I wanted to kind of use the products as much as possible in this video. So as always, my technique is just to use a microfiber wash mitt to get rid of kind of the face of the wheels. 
and then to use this, this little velcro brush to get into all the corners so this wheel takes a lot longer to clean than mine and um, not particularly long it's not the most complicated wheel in the world but there were a few corners that needed addressing and then once I'd actually done the face of the wheel I went to do the barrel so I've still not gone around to it I've still not purchased um, another like wheelbarrow brush um, and I need to do that maybe I'll pick one up after Christmas um, so you know you can um, you can see it's actually a little bit difficult to clean these wheels and um, it's completely fine on mine but on here it is a bit of a pain and um, so did my best um, I managed to spend this get quite a lot of it by kind of angling the brush but um, it wasn't ideal and I do need to invest and um, but once I'd done that just power washed everything down and you can see that the wheels came up really nice very nice wheels on this one and um, these diamond quad alloys are very nice and um, I do really like them so I just wanted to give them a little bit of a decon as well so I started off with the um, fallout remover and just sprayed that on and gave it a dwell time of probably around five minutes and um, unfortunately not too much to see here as the wheels were already clean you couldn't see that kind of purple reaction and um, there wasn't really much break dust to deal with it showed that the shampoo did a good job at cleaning on its own so now I'm moving on to the snow foam so I'm using it in my MJJC foam cannon and um, which I absolutely love I'm just using it with 1.25 millimeter orifice and um, you can give it a boost and give, put the 1.1 millimeter orifice but I just wanted to show you what you probably get with most foam cannons so I used 50 mil in 450 mil of water so 1 in 10 dilution here and the foam went on reasonably thick so it's quite mid-range for that sort of dilution ratio and um, it, it went on reasonably well and um, I've seen thicker snow foams and I've definitely seen thinner ones you know that I like to use built hammer water foam which I definitely say was thinner than this one and um, so for one in ten dilution ratio the foam's thick, thick this wasn't too bad and um, the only thing that I sort of think let it down a little bit was the cleaning ability it just didn't se seem to do much more than the citrus bee wash I already had and um, it didn't also have an amazing dwell time so the vast majority of the snow foam had fallen off by this point so I would like to see it if it had just a little bit more bite to it and um, just a little bit more cleaning ability I think would be nice um, and also just to have a little bit better dwell time and potentially just even a more concentrated formula just to get a bit of a better dilution ratio if I could use like a 1 in 20 dilution and get some kind of foam thickness then that would be great to see as well so once I had fully pre-washed the car down, what I did was went on to the contact wash. So here I'm using um, 10, 10 mil um, of shampoo in this bucket. As you can see, probably could have got away with less. It foamed up very, very well. Um, looks fantastic. So plenty of suds to go onto the car. Um, and these did transfer actually really well onto the panel. So I think that it felt really safe to use the shampoo the lubrication of it was very good um, and it did you know it did a great job of cleaning absolutely no complaints there and um, but i think i probably could have got away with using even less of this i think that the dilution ratio is one of one of the best i've seen to be honest um, in terms of getting that really kind of really sort of thick suds and um, for a lot you'd have to use probably 20 mil in that bucket and um, but 10 mil here really were quite impressed with that one so what I also wanted to do was just take this opportunity to go ahead and clean some of the trim. Um, so this car is incredibly prone to getting algae in the rubber seals and on the grill at the front. So I've just got this soft 99 brush, um, which isn't that soft, it's actually quite firm. Um, so I find it's better to work in the rubber trim to scrub those down. And also kind of at the front here, so there's this sort of honeycomb grill, I guess. Um, which looks pretty cool, but it's an absolute pain to clean. Um, but you know, I just basically topped it up with that one in four mixture of the citrus pre-wash just to give it a little bit more foaminess um, and just give that as much of a scrub as possible to get rid of any algae that was starting to brew in there. Um, I also went the back on some of these badges and used, so this is a GB detailing. It's quite a very, very soft brush. Um, so much safer to kind of use on these areas. Um, and it did a good job at just getting any grime that was left in there as well. So one thing to know is this shampoo did rinse away very nicely. Um, it does claim to have gloss enhancement in, which to me is a bit of a worry. Um, normally gloss enhancing shampoos tend to mask the coating. Um, however here, didn't really have an issue with that. The water behaviour of, of the sealant underneath was still kind of coming through. 
um, so it didn't really mask it, which I quite liked. So next step was to decon the paintwork. So I was just using the iron fallout remover again and I went around sort of all the lower panels and I also did the hood as well just for good measure um, as that's probably the most decontaminated, oh, sorry, contaminated part of this car to be honest. The hood did feel quite rough so I wanted to make sure that I was doing that here. So this is quite a thick sort of, I'd say it's not really gel like but it is quite a thick iron fallout remover which I think really does help with actually the dwell time um, and it doesn't just slide off the car which is really great as well. Um, so quick reminder, um, if you are enjoying this video it'd be fantastic if you could drop it a like, um, it does really help to support the channel. Um, another thing I wanted to mention as well but Pyramid Car Care did very kindly start me out with a discount code to offer to everyone so if you use a discount code and there's also some affiliate links in the description then you can get 15% off these um, which does make it a pretty good deal. Um, so mixing it up here, so Pyramid Car Care don't actually have anything that's capable of sort of stripping wax and sealants um, and don't have that product in the lineup. so what I wanted to do is make sure that the wax was getting a good bond so I wanted to strip off that garage therapy um, ceramic sealant underneath so just using another garage therapy product here so this is the Decon shampoo so I was using that in conjunction with the Pyramid Car Care clay bar um, just to give it the best chance of removing that coating and spoiler alert, you can see later on that um, it did do a good job of that actually and it did um, definitely sort of kill the water behaviour, I could tell it had stripped it off quite easily. Um, so again another really nice shampoo to use, a um, bit of a different one obviously it's not pH neutral, it's going to be something you would use as part of a decontamination process as the name would imply, um, but it works really well as a clay lubricant as well. So. This clay bar, I'm not sure in terms of how aggressive or soft it's classed as, and um, it did a good job at cutting through um, the contamination on this. It, you needed one pass over each section. It wasn't one where you'd have to keep going back to it. So I would say that it was quite, a, I wouldn't say it was a particularly aggressive clay bar, but it does have quite good um, sort of ability to really kind of cut through contamination. So just drying the car off here, so I'm just using the Pluffle, um, which is one by the rag company. So it's normally quite good um, and completely enough to absorb most water on most cars, but because the water behaviour was so dead on this, um, I did have to keep wringing it out, which was a bit of a pain. Um, so here we're moving on to probably the most anticipated products on the video, um, and that is the ceramic wax. So first thing you'll notice if you use this is the smell. It smells fantastic, um, I wouldn't say it smells like palmer violets but it does have definitely kind of smell like sweets, um, it has kind of a berry scent as well but difficult one to describe but it does smell fantastic um, and it's, you can definitely smell it whilst you're using it so this is something that quite a few waxes I've tried in the past that smell quite solventy and um, this just doesn't have that which is really nice. Um, another thing to note is it goes on like butter, um, to go over this entire car took less than five minutes and I know it's a small car so you know that definitely did help but it was so so smooth to go on this wax so it's quite quite a soft wax and um, you don't have to use much of it though and um, it's not one where you have to kind of use you know a, a full swipe every um, panel just a quick sort of quarter or half turn of your applicator and it's enough to do something like this entire door and um, so it really did spread very 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 well and just smelled great, it was a really nice wax to use, so absolutely kind of really impressed with that. Um, so whilst I was waiting for that to cure, which didn't take long at all, probably between 5 and 10 minutes, um, I did just use a glass cleaner, so uh, Pyramid Car Care do have a glass cleaner, um, but I didn't pick that up, so I've got this um, it's Clearview glass cleaner and it's by Autoglans, um, so it's quite, um, it's sort of a water repellent glass cleaner, which I like using. Um, you know, no streaks or anything like that. And um, we've also got another product, and um, so Pyramid Car Care at the time of making this video don't have a tire and trim dressing, which I'd definitely love to see if they did one of those in the future. And um, so today I'm just using Onyx um, to leave just the tires just looking a bit more refreshed. So came back to remove this, and um, like I said, with application, it just went on so easy and it came off just as easily. Um, there was no kind of faffing about having to go over each panel twice and flipping the towel and messing about one swipe and it had gone. Um, very, very, very easy wax to use. Um, just really had that kind of 
overall experience of using it was very very enjoyable and um, so I definitely would recommend it so here are the shots of it and um, you can see the gloss levels even on a pretty miserable British winter day and um, the gloss of it actually really shone through and the car looked really really good and the owner was definitely really pleased with how it looked afterwards So now to talk about how these products actually performed and my overall opinions of each of them. So I'm just going to take you through them just quickly. Um, so I'll start off in the kind of order that I use them. So we got the citrus pre-wash. Um, so as you will have seen in the video, I did dilute this one to four um, on the paintwork and it did a good job at stripping off some of the kind of dirt that was still stuck on there that pressure wash couldn't handle. Um, it foamed up really nicely on the tyres. I think overall it did a good job at cleaning didn't have any negative impact on the sealant that I was using at the time so I'd say that it was sort of waxing sealant safe which was definitely a good one and um, it does smell really nice as well actually <laughs> um, it's I'm not gonna lie it smells a little bit like sort of fairy liquid don't worry it's not fairy liquid you can use this on your car um, but it, it smelled good I think um, one thing I did want to mention about these as well is that the trigger sprays are actually really good quality and um, this is quite to be honest compared to other citrus pre-wash products that I've seen this is quite good value um, and one one thing I've seen is when the products tend to be a little bit cheaper than the competitors is that the trigger sprays tend to sort of be the sort of thing that generally decreases in quality but with these the trigger sprays are actually top notch and um, really good feel like really solid and good spray action on them so that was just something I wanted to mention as well and um, so we've got next the products that i used was the snow foam and um, so i'm gonna be completely honest here wasn't overly fussed on this product and um, i used it so it says to use 150 ml so 100 to 150 ml of snow foam with warm water in your lance with that i don't think the dilution ratio is particularly impressive with that i think i've tried other snow foams in the past where you can use sort of a 1 in 20 and um, this is 1 in 10 is generally what you need at least a 1 in 10 so it's 100 to 150 ml so I used 50 ml in 450 ml of water and the snow foam it was reasonably thick and um, thickness for me isn't too much of an issue I use built amber water foam a lot of the time so you probably know that I'm not particularly that bothered about that and um, the cleaning power didn't seem to do any more though than the citrus pre-wash did and um, so I would like it to if it was gonna have I think it, if I'm not sure whether it is pH neutral or not if I'm honest and um, it seems to be having a clean action of something that probably is and um, but I just don't want to comment and say that it is but um I'd either prefer it to be a little bit thicker or just have a little bit more cleaning ability and um, of course you can use the citrus pre-wash with it but I just prefer it to prefer for snow foams to have a little bit more bite if they are lacking that thickness and um, I think it's nice to see just to give it a bit more of a dwell time so this I gave around five minutes and it did slip off quite quickly but just the cleaning ability just wasn't as there for me as I would have liked and I'd prefer it to have a little bit of better dilution ratio I think would be nice as well um, but on the positives like all these products here they smell amazing and um, so which, which is this one again so yeah this one's kind of like how do I describe it it's like it smells a little bit like cherry coke it's like amaretto um, is what it smells like which smells really really good and um, but generally it's probably not going to be one of my favourite snow foams and um, those others that I've tried in the past that I just think are a little bit better than this one so just full just wanted to be honest about that and um, next we've got the shampoo and um, so I was a little bit worried when I read about this and um, because it does say that it adds gloss now if you see my other reviews when I talk about shampoos I get very nervous when they say they add gloss because it generally tends to mean that they leave a, a residue behind that not really residue but kind of that coating behind that film I guess that sort of kills the water behavior I can honestly say with this one it didn't do that and um, so you can see the shots where I rinse it off and um, I was using ceramic sealant and um, garage therapy somewhere here behind me and um, and the water behavior of that was still really really good and um, I had to kind of kill it and um, as you'll have seen in the video so didn't really have any impact on that which was was very good um, again with the instructions it says add a small amount of shampoo to an empty bucket now I know on the website it is a bit clearer and um, I would like to see that on the bottle as well but add a small amount you know how much of that I think I, but I have I've seen um, I think Matt over at Detailing World has commented on that as well and um, 
I think, if I'm honest, by saying that, it's underselling it in a way. I used so little of this in the bucket. I used 10 mil and I did not need 10 mil. Um, I could have got away with less. The f um, so I think the dilution ratio of this is really, really impressive. Um, and also the kind of, the stability of the foam. So I took a kind of shot, just a quick shot of the foam, how it looked basically like an hour later and it was still the exact same. Um, so I think the stability and the dilution ratio are really, really good on this. Um, one other thing that I would like to see with this, to be honest, is if it had a pump instead of just this. Um, so I used a little syringe, but I know but when it gets a bit lower that the syringe isn't going to reach in there um, and I will have to pour it, but it's very, very thick. Um, so I've got Carchem Super Sud somewhere here and that does have a pump on the top, um, which just makes it a bit easier when it's so thick. So that's potentially something I'd like to see if a um, slight improvement to the packaging would just make it a little bit easier because you need so little of this that if you pour in it, you could quite easily just overuse it basically. Um, but generally I thought this foamed up really nice, um, it felt really good on the paintwork, really good lubrication, really good suds, good stability um, as well, so I think that just overall it was a really good shampoo. Again, smells good, um, so what's this one again, remind myself. <laughs> um, so it's kind of like berry scent, I think this one, um, it smells great, so <laughs> all of these products smell amazing apart from the fallout remover which is probably not a massive surprise to anyone. So that does bring us on to the awful smelling fallout remover, which they all are. Um, I unfortunately couldn't demo this as probably best as I could, dealing with an orange car that had wheels that didn't really have any brake dust on them. Um, so I couldn't demo this in the same way as I probably could demo it on a horrendously contaminated car. Um, that one just wasn't as bad. So it seemed to be working well though. I could see a few little spots of it. Um, if I went in really close where I could see it working. Um, it's quite a thick product, so it's quite, not it's not gel-like, but it's not. So I've got um, Corosol somewhere here that's very, like a completely loose liquid. This is more sort of, it's more gel-like, and I don't wanna use that word because I don't think it's the best way to describe it, but it's just thicker. Um, so I think that is quite good in a way. I think it just generally helps it stick around on the paintwork. It's not just sliding off, um, and it's just giving it that longer kind of action. Um, which I think is quite quite useful actually. Um, I think it's quite a nice feature to see on this. Um, but yeah, so there's not too much else to say about that one. Um, so what have we got next? We've got the clay bar. So first things first, I like that it came in this. So it's just a resealable pouch. Um, I think it's good to have this because I used probably a third of the clay bar on that car and you know, otherwise really have a great place to store it apart from in a plastic bag. So it's good that it comes in a pouch. Um, in terms of the level of aggression of this clay bar, I would say it was reasonably firm. I'd say it probably, it was probably a regular clay bar. Um, it wasn't, I don't think the most aggressive in the world, but I wouldn't say it was super soft either. Um, I'd probably like if I knew from Pyramid Car Care maybe where they would classify this. Um, if they had maybe other clay bars in the range, would this, where would this fall? Um, would be class this as a soft or an aggressive clay bar because um, I know on the car that I was working on the Volkswagen the, the paint's really hard and I know that from trying to polish it last year um, it was a nightmare it was so so hard that paint so marring with that is just completely non-issue however my paint annoyingly Mars if you look at it and um, so I use Built Hamber soft clay on that and um, so I don't know whether this might be a bit too hard I'd like to know potentially whether this is classed as a soft clay because um, I generally tend to err on the side of caution just because there's normally not that much contamination on my car because I do it reasonably often and um, it's obviously kept on top of so it'd be nice to know a little bit more about that as well but good clay bar did the, did the job and um, tackled the contamination of that car really really well so not too much else to say about that one either and um, so finally we've got the ceramic wax so this is the big one the one that people probably clicked on the video for and um, it looks fantastic. I've got to say the packaging's phenomenal. Comes in this little glass tub, um, so you know it, it looks great. It looks fantastic on the shelf. Um, again, the smell of it's great. You don't need too much of it, um, which is good. It's quite a soft wax, and um, so you would. It's not. It it goes on like butter, basically. Really, really nice application with this. Um, the one the one thing that's going to put people off this is the price. Um, it's an expensive wax 
However, I can say that I haven't used a wax that has been sort of this easy to use, the water behaviour has been as good, the gloss has been as good. I think that in terms of the properties that you look for in a wax, in terms, you know, application, water behaviour, gloss, um, I can't comment on the durability, although the durability claims are very good, um, but I can't comment from real world experience yet. Um, but it's got everything that you would look for. I have tried waxes in the past, like I always bang on about it, but Free Soco, which is up there, which is around 30 quid now, I think it's just over maybe 35, somewhere in between that. Um, that's sort of really prized for its water behaviour. This has really good water behaviour and it's much easier to use and the gloss levels are better. This is more expensive, but it just depends on how much you're willing to pay, really. I think if you, you're disappointed with other waxes that don't have those all-round features, you might want to give this a go. Um, I do have um, a discount code for the products here, and this as well, um, so it will bring the price down of this. Um, so, But it's still, it is, it's a very premium wax, so it just depends whether you want to treat yourself and go for that. It's obviously completely up to you, um, but I can honestly say that this performed very, very well. Um, so I think that brings me to the end of the video and um, so as I said I do have discount code in the description I've also got some affiliate links and um, so I will pop all that info down below and um, they all performed really well apart from the snow foams not my favorite but I think everything else that I've tried really was quite impressive um, and I'll definitely be using them a lot more and um, so I hope you have enjoyed the video I hope you've enjoyed seeing that car get a good clean um, and hope you've enjoyed the after shots of it as well if you have um, it'd be fantastic if you could drop the video a like and um, comment down below if you've got any questions about the products or the techniques or anything else in the video and um, have you tried any of these products it'd be great to hear if you have and to hear your thoughts as well and um, but thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time